Hey everyone, this is Diz Explorer 3 with another uh, update episode here on this channel. Now, as you guys uh, may have known, I have not been uh, posting up gameplay videos for a while because um, my TV is still acting up, and also the uh, my PS4 uh, console with uh, has been having like a bit of difficulty trying to um, to like upload videos onto my channel. So it may take a while. I don't know how long it's going to um, uh, to keep on acting up like this. But once I get the uh, the problem resolved. I'll let you guys know on what's to come for uh, that's Disney Infinity related on this channel. But as of right now, I want to give you guys um, a few updates, like some very important updates on some projects that are in the works on. So some of you guys may be wondering like what's gonna go, what's gonna happen with the projects, um, what's been going on, like gonna, some of them gonna be scrapped and stuff like that. So um, I will say that um, some projects are um, are either scrapped or uh, possibly uh, either scrapped or maybe condensed. It, 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 uh, it all matters with time, because due to the technical difficulties I've been having, I won't uh, be uh, have that much time as I expected to complete the toy boxes uh, that I want to get done and French share to you guys before the servers go down. So, uh, I will say this, um, the Christmas um, toy box that I've been planning to work on has been scrapped. I am I apologize. Um, like I said in the last video, um, the Christmas uh, themed toy box that I'm building will be scrapped. But uh, there's another Christmas themed toy box that I've built in the past called the, the Fright Before Christmas um, that uh, you can download and play from community content. Uh, another project that's in the works is the Disneyland project. I will say, yes, the Disneyland project will still Still be in the works and it will be completed. I promise you that. So the rides uh, will be completed um, as soon as uh, everything gets resolved. For Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two, that one, I don't know. Because that one, like, because um, I know the game could be, uh, it's um, it could be a pretty lengthy game. So I think the best thing I can do for Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two is that it won't be as long as the original Toy Box it will be condensed. So it'll, it'll, I will only take the um, the main key um, scenes from Epic Mickey to the Power 2 and recreate that. So probably the boss fights and some of the the um, the worlds that you live in, uh, that, that you visit inside Wasteland. Not all of them, just some of them. So don't expect like an exact recreation of Epic Mickey to the Power 2, just like a brief summary of the game. So I will do my best. And uh, to hopefully get Epic Mickey 2 The Power 2. French to you guys, because I don't want to disappoint you guys. That's still, uh, all of you guys who still play Disney Fanny in some way or form. Now, the biggest update I want to share with you guys is uh, what is uh, the progress or what's happening on my final Toy Box project that I've announced called Disney Infinity Battle for the Toy Box. And let me say that uh, um, the original storyline well the the toy box overall uh will be revised so the original storyline i have like this huge um like mysterious dark threat take over the toy box uh, will be revised like it won't be the exact uh, it won't be the same story that was uh planned and uh, that i originally hoped because um due to like the uh, recent arguments and fights unfortunately and uh, the story, uh, and also the story uh, wouldn't uh, be the appropriate way to end the Disney Fendi franchise. And I am going to, like, a spoiler alert, I'm going to tell you guys the original plot of, and spoilers for the now uh, scrapped storyline for Disney Fendi Battle for the Toy Box. Now, as you guys have known, already said that the, there are people called the Masters. Uh, and the creators and the visitors. Now the visitors are the people who um, who come uh, who like come in the toy box and out as they please, and they can visit anytime they want and play alongside with their favorite Disney characters, whether it be Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars. Uh, now the the masters, there are the toy box master artists. They were inspired by the master artists, so you'd see one that was inspired by um, Pirate Steven or Mighty Jidus or um, or Daddy Three. Or uh, Mal Treyman, or um, let's see, Samarian, or myself, or like all the masters uh, would have been involved uh, in this toy box. 
and the creators, which are the people who originally built it, and make sure that everything uh, is is a okay. And um, they're the ones that selected the masters, and those people uh, would have been uh, JV, Allison, the mentors, and the team behind the Disney Finney games and what and so forth. Now, those content will stay uh, for the uh, new revised storyline for Battle for the Toy Box, which I'm pretty sure it might go through a name change. I don't know. Because, um, I don't know, we'll see how the new revised storyline goes. But um, it will have, it will be a more positive adventure instead of like one being, uh, one taking like a, uh, having like a dark tone. Because um, this, the, the original storyline that was originally planned, but now unfortunately scrapped uh, due to many reasons, is too dark uh, and would not be an appropriate uh, way to end the story and could possibly set like more backlash against me because due to my recent argument, I've lost uh, many friends in the community, still trying to get them back, but I don't know about that. Uh, but anyways, the original um, the original storyline had a villain. I teased that there was going to be a new main villain. The main antagonist it was named The Collector. And like he wants to destroy all creativity and replace it with negativity and make sure that the uh, Disney affinity is the complete opposite of what it is. And there was going to be uh, spoiler, a spoiler alert on this character. Um, there was going to be a twist on who this character's identity really is. Because like his identity was a secret until uh, later on in the story when the characters find out who he really is. And this character will no longer be a part of the story. He will be scrapped, replaced with a new antagonist. Although, uh, in I'll take some parts that are a bit similar, but um, he but he the the character overall has been scrapped. So, in the now scrapped storyline, this character, the collector, his identity will be none other than spoiler alert, myself. He wouldn't have been. Um, uh, a character that was inspired by myself because I had a hard time um, with uh, transitioning from uh, what's it called uh, Disney Infinity. And like I said, this is a very personal story that I have made. And looking back on it now, it, it did felt pretty dark. Like there was, um, there are parts in the story where um, it explains the origins of how like my character becomes the main antagonist. Like he become, he was like a bit of a misunderstood. He was one of the masters, and like he, when he heard that the toy box realm, that there's not gonna be any more characters, and like he lost his chance to get one of his favorite heroes into the realm, he tried to convince the creators that ain't, uh, if there's any ways to save it, and the creators said, uh, No, there's nothing we could do, let's move on, let's make a better future. And they get into an argument, and which accidentally led to uh, uh, Diz uh, to like unlock his uh, untapped power. Um, that he didn't know he had, which was to freeze uh, people like statues, so keep them frozen in time, and um, and like just when he's about to go and freeze him, like he has like this little voice, like his negativity, like the dark side of him, urges him to pursue that power and like uh, have that teach a lesson uh, about like have them like feel like the exact same way of that um, how a a, uh, a scrapped Disney Infinity character would feel. And do the same thing to the masters. So eventually, he did do the same for the masters, uh, who um, who all thought of him was being like an outcast. One escaped, and and that one would have been a character inspired by um, a Model Train Man, one of my dearest friends of mine, probably uh, one of the only few friends I have in the community, and I really appreciate it. Uh, if you watch Nick, thank you. And um, he would go in and recruit the Disney Infinity characters to help uh, not only save the toy box, but also to save a friend of his. So that was going to be the um, original um, plot for um, Disney Infinity Battle for the Toy Box, which is now scrapped because, like I said, the story wouldn't have been uh, a bit too dark. It, and like it was like Disney Infinity was a very positive game and it wouldn't fit right. Like to, it wouldn't feel right for the franchise. Like to end it on like a very, uh, like very dark game, like almost like Tim Burton dark, even even though despite it would still have a happy ending. But, anyways, like um, for all like the community members out there, uh, who was uh, I apologize for um, what the uh, original storyline was going to be. I'm like still in the works on 
changing it. I'm not sure if it's going to be episodic. It might be one linked toy box. We'll see. Uh, like it'll be linked toy box to go into the next one, the next one, the next one, something like that. Maybe we will see. It all depends on time. But there will be a new revised storyline. It's like something more positive, something more like fits in like the like, like toy box takeover, something action packed but also humorous at the same time. So it's like something like very kid friendly. So, for those of you who are expecting a more dark and edgier story, I apologize, but trust me, it's for the best. And I think the Disney fan community would have wanted it this way. Like they wouldn't not they wouldn't want like a dark like fantasy saga or something like that. Like they don't want like something like oh I don't know, like a Toy Box Deathly Hallows or Toy Box Toy Story Three or something like that to um to be like the final chapter of the um of the like the toy box ventures but anyways it'll be more spirited like more uh it'll be it'll be more positive it'll be more positive like it was um it'll definitely keep the message of keep moving forward uh and it'll definitely have more comedy and heart so that's the goal for uh, what's gonna happen with disney Infinity battle for the toy box <sighs> yeah so anyways uh, once again um disney Infinity community i apologize uh I apologize to those who were expecting a more dark and edgier storyline, but I also apologize to those who, um, um, what's it called? I, if, um, this, like, somewhat, like, offended you or something like that, um, the storyline is, is gonna be scrapped. I'm not doing the original story. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be now a different story. Like, the, the, uh, the masters and the creators will, and the visitors will have a part in the new storyline, but not, uh, but not like in a darker storyline. It'll be more of a more positive storyline. So I hope you appreciate that. But, uh, but anyways, thank you guys for um, watching this video. If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to uh, uh, comment below uh, in the comment section below, and tell me what you guys think. Um, are you sad that there's no, the storyline's not going to be that dark? Are you more excited about um, like that the projects will come eventually? Or are you looking for the new revised um, version of Battle for the Toy Box? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, there should be an episode coming up very soon of KHB, also known as Kingdom Hearts Bros, where I bring my brother Aaron along as we do a fun little challenge I think you guys will enjoy. So thank you guys for watching this episode. Until then, I'll see you guys real soon.